there, welcome to another episode of Multiplication Strategies, Tips, and Tricks. I'm Shelley Gray, and today we are talking about the four times tables. Now, before you get started with the four times tables, your students must know the addition doubles facts. The strategy for the four times tables is very dependent on these facts, so it must be automatic knowledge for your students already. Now, when I talk about the addition doubles, I'm referring to the doubles from 1 to 12. So that includes equations such as 5 plus 5, 2 plus 2, 10 plus 10, 7 plus 7, 3 plus 3, 9 plus 9, etc. Now these need to be, as I mentioned before, automatic. So when you ask your student what the double of 5 is, he shouldn't have to think about it or count up on his fingers or anything like that. He should just know that 5 plus 5 is 10. So I um, encourage you to keep reinforcing this in your classroom even if you teach up to fourth or fifth grade addition doubles are something that's really important to keep reinforcing and you can do this very easily with dice um, or cards and really for one to two minutes a day will keep that um, memorized for your students so now that we know the addition doubles facts your students can do the four times tables. So before they get to the fours, they've obviously already learned the twos. Now we know that the two times tables are the same as the addition doubles. So in other words, the equation two times four can actually be thought of as four plus four because essentially you're doing two groups of four. Now we already know this, this is prior knowledge for our students. So now when we move to the four times tables, we can think the double of the double, okay? Some people also say the doubles doubles. So here's an example of what that means. For the equation four times five, the double of five is 10, and now we double the 10 to make 20. Let's look at this a little bit closer. So when we see an equation such as four times 10, you see the four and you identify that this means we can use the double the double strategy. So you always look at the other number, which in this case is a 10, and you first double that 10. So the double of 10 is 20. Now we double the 20. So the double of 20 is 40. Let's look at another one, four times eight. So first of all, identify that we have a four in the equation, which means that we can use the double the double strategy. We are going to be doubling the other number, not the four. So in this case, the double of eight is 16. And I encourage you to make this very visual for your students when you're just teaching this strategy. So the double of eight is 16, and now we double the 16 to make 32. Always reinforce with your students that the order of factors doesn't matter in multiplication. For instance, four times six is the same as six times four. We can still use the double the double strategy in either of these equations. There's a four in the first one. There's a four in the second one. It doesn't matter where it is. It just means that you look at the other number, which in this case is a six, and you double that to make 12, and then double the 12 to make 24. So let's practice. In this one, we see a four, it's the second factor. Doesn't matter if it's the first or second one. So now let's look at the other number, not the four. That's a seven. First of all, we're going to double the seven to make 14, and then double the 14 to make 28. Next one, we see four times four. Now in this one, both factors are a four. So we've identified already by, we see the four, we've identified that we can use this double the double strategy. So we look at the other number, which in this case is a four. We double it to make eight, and then we double the eight to make 16. Let's try another one, three times four. So first of all, we, we see that there's a four in the equation. This is a big sign to us that we can use the double the double strategy. So we look at the other number, which in this case is a three. We double it to make six, and we double that six to make 12. If you're interested in more mental math strategies, please visit ShellyGrayTeaching.com. Have a great day.